Hey folks, we're in Menifee, California. Going to plant a uh, bacon avocado into a raised bed. How we do it here, uh, we have real hot, hot uh, summers here. So we're gonna prep the whole, raise it, have it in a raised bed above the uh, the ground level soil so we can get some good some good water flow down here and root growth. So we'll dig the hole, bring it back to you in a minute. Okay, we got the hole dug. We want the top level of the dirt in the bucket to be roughly at the top of the two by sixes that we have in the hole. So we're gonna have this above ground level, as you can see the two by sixes. So now we're gonna add the good stuff, set the plant in there, and we'll come back and show you what that looks like. Uh, dirt, dirt here is surprisingly, surprisingly good. Dug really good. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of uh, soil so we get a little better drainage uh, with some perlite in it and, and pumice. And then uh, we'll come back and show you as we're putting the avocado tree in the ground. Took a lot of dirt out of there. We'll backfill all that in. Hold tight. Okay, okay, we're back. This is the uh, tree in the hole. We've got it in here for height and size. Loosened up the the uh, roots a little, and you can see how all those feeder roots on there we want at or below the height of our raised bed. Uh, so the top of the avocado tree will be just below the uh, two by sixes that you see sitting on there. So now we're gonna fill it in, mix in the soil with some of the amendments we have, and then fill it in and we'll come back and show you what it's gonna look like. Okay, now we've started to fill in the hole, mixing a little bit of uh, my favorite uh, top pot gardening soil I get with the native soil. We'll add worm castings, a little bit of fertilizer, We've got some good new growth, new buds coming in on this right now. So since it's nice and warm in the mid 70s, it's time to get this thing in the ground. So we're basically gonna bring it up to the height of, of where it's at now, get those feeder roots and some good uh, well-draining soil, mixing the soil we took out of the ground with some worm castings. And we'll come back and show you the finished product here in a minute. Okay, we're back. Get out of your way. Mixed in a little bit of worm casting, so we're gonna level this out. Water, throw some mulch on it. And that's how you plant an avocado tree in a little raised bed scenario. I've heard different things where people like to mound them up. I like to put them in a raised bed like this because I can always uh, you know, make it bigger if I want to later. But all those feeder roots just under the ground will be in that good rich soil that has good well drain in it uh, and really allow this thing to thrive. We'll come back and show you the finished product here in a minute. And we're back with the finished product. So we're about six inches above the ground level here with good rich soil and the native soil mixed in. We're gonna give this tree an opportunity to really blossom this year in the nice sunny spot here in Menifee, California. So to recap, we dig the hole uh, get the base of the soil in the pot just below the height of our raised bed. Backfill it with all the good stuff, worm castings, a little fertilizer, native soil, a little bit of good draining potting soil. Top it off with mulch, and we'll come back and look at this uh, later in the year, see how it's doing. The blooms are really coming out on this bacon avocado, as you can see. The older leaves are getting ready to drop. So it's a good time to get this in the ground on a nice warm day. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. We're on Instagram now at The Elsinore Gardener. So check us out on Instagram. We'll have photos of different things we do once in a while too. Thanks again from beautiful Menifee, California. Signing off.